Hello, chemistry students. Today we will be performing our ethanol from sucrose experiment. In this experiment, we will use yeast to ferment sucrose into ethanol, and after fermentation is complete, we will use fractional distillation to distill the ethanol. We will then determine the percentage composition by weight of ethanol in our distillate and calculate the percentage yield of ethanol. Let's get started. To begin, we will add approximately two grams of sucrose to a 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask. The mass of sucrose that we will be using is 2.0076 grams. After adding our sucrose to the 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask, we will next add 18 milliliters of warm tap water, two milliliters of pasture salts, and 0 0.2 grams of dried yeast to our 50 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask with the sucrose and swirl to mix. We will then cover the flask with plastic wrap and a rubber band and allow the solution to ferment in a 30 degrees Celsius incubator for approximately one week. After allowing our solution to ferment at 30 degrees Celsius for one week, we will transfer the solution in two equal portions to two centrifuge tubes and remove any sediment by centrifugation. After centrifugation, we will decant the liquid in our centrifuge tubes away from the solid and into a 25 milliliter round bottom flask. We will next perform a fractional distillation of the fermented liquid. I've gone ahead and assembled the fractional distillation apparatus, which consists of a 25 milliliter round bottom flask with the fermented liquid and a boiling stone connected to a fractionating column and a Hickman head still. The fractionating column has been packed with approximately one gram of stainless steel sponge and insulated with two layers of Tygon tubing. We will collect the distillate from the side port of the Hickman head using a pasture pipette and transfer to a pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial. It is important to distill the liquid slowly through the fractionating column to achieve the best possible separation. To do this, we will maintain the heat setting required to boil the liquid at the lowest possible setting. We will stop the distillation after collecting 0 0.4 milliliters of distillate. We will now pre-weigh the three milliliter conical vial that we will use to collect our distillate. The mass of the pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial that we will be using to collect our distillate is 23.5417 grams. After performing the fractional distillation, the mass of our pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial and the collected distillate is 24.0268 grams. We next need to pre-weigh a new three milliliter conical vial, which we will be using to determine the density of our distillate. The mass of the pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial is 23.0181 grams. We will next add 200 microliters of distillate to the new pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial using an automatic micro pipette. We will then re-weigh the three milliliter conical vial plus the 200 microliters of distillate 
and this will enable us to determine the density of our distillate. The mass of the pre-weighed three milliliter conical vial plus the 200 microliters of distillate is 23.1778 grams. You can now calculate the density of the distillate and use the following table to determine the percentage composition by weight of ethanol in the distillate from the density of the sample. We will now perform a microscale boiling point determination of the ethanol distillate. Okay, students, you can now determine the density, percent ethanol, the percentage yield of ethanol, and the boiling point of our distillate. This concludes the ethanol from sucrose experiment. Thank you for joining me for this laboratory.